Okay, what is going on, everybody? What's up? What's up, what's up? Phil here, live on the first of two gameplay streams for the day. How's everyone doing? Today is Wednesday, August 30th, 2017. We're coming down to the nitty-gritty here, folks. We're almost at the end of the month, which means very shortly we'll be heading into uh, the fall. Yeah, pretty soon it will be fall, if you can believe it. <clears throat> so, hello and welcome, everyone. We're starting off today strong with more Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I premiered this game yesterday on stream, um, and was pleasantly surprised. I didn't know what to expect from it. You know, all we had seen was really the stuff from E3, uh, which made the game look like an XCOM kind of a, a clone in a lot of way. Uh, it looked like the gameplay was going to be very XCOM-ish, while, uh, <clears throat> while, uh, it would have some kind of a different flavor with, you know, Mario and the Rabbids and all those characters integrated into it. Well, that's very much what it is, um... The game seems to have pretty high production values. You know, the graphics look pretty sweet. Um, so far, having a lot of fun with the gameplay. And it pretty, it's pretty fun and also surprisingly challenging. Um, you know, it's not a kiddie game. It's not made for the kiddies. Even though there's an easy mode so that if, you know, little kids do buy the game or their parents get them the game and they want to play it, they don't have to go crazy hardcore into it. But the gameplay is pretty much on par with XCOM. And you know, the only thing it really takes out is <clears throat> the insane behind-the-scenes massive researching and stuff like that. If you remember in XCOM, you had to constantly be researching stuff and then having these trees of skills and shit like that. Not to say that there aren't trees of skills in the game, but it is much more simplified <clears throat> compared to the XCOM series. So that being said, folks, um, yeah, things are going good so far in the game. I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, we had this big question yesterday as of what would happen when I uploaded the videos of this playthrough to YouTube. Well, the good news is, folks, they are good to go. <laughs> Even though, you know, Mario and the Nintendo characters are in the game, apparently because the game is a game developed and, you know, released by Ubisoft, even though it has licensed characters from Nintendo, Nintendo is not content ID claiming every video. So that's a good news, right? Um, now as for, is anyone actually watching the playthrough on YouTube? I honestly have no idea. I have absolutely no freaking idea if anyone is watching this on my DSP Gaming channel. <clears throat> so, that I can't control, right? <laughs> that I can't control, there's nothing I can do about that, but as for at least getting the videos live, they are live. You know, it's sad to say, typically, I do enjoy playing Nintendo games, but typically when I play them, um, my YouTube audience doesn't necessarily catch on. Um, <clears throat> the only really exception here would have been, I, I say, Zelda Breath of the Wild earlier this year. I think the reason that one did so well was because it was a new Zelda game and a new kind of Zelda game. It was a whole different kind of gameplay, and people wanted to see that um, because it was such a different style of game from a typical Zelda game. Plus... That was also a playthrough where I was adjusting from my old school, kind of offline, hyper-focused on the game playthroughs to my more interactive ones that I do now, you know, where I, I interact with people in the stream chat. So, here we are, folks. Mario plus Rabbids. Will it catch on? I have no idea. I hope it will, but I honestly have no idea if it will on YouTube or not. I tell you this, for the stream yesterday, I had fun. I hope that you guys had fun with it, right? It was good. I liked it. I thought it was entertaining. Um... So hopefully you will continue to like the stream today. We'll see how it goes, right? I think today we're going to have our first big boss fight. That's actually where we're starting here today, I think, is the first big boss fight of the game. And then we'll go on from there and see how it goes. All right, so later tonight, folks, my second stream today will be the continuation of Yakuza Kiwami. The original game in the series is basically Yakuza 1 completely redone from the ground up with modernized graphics and gameplay mechanics of Yakuza 0. So that's good. I did enjoy playing that last night. And I hope that you'll come back tonight for more of that as well, all right? Now, also today, folks, this just happened. <clears throat> I didn't even announce it was going to happen. I released my review of Sonic Mania over on the King of Hate Vlogs. Now, that's a big change, because I used to put all of that kind of stuff on KO Gaming. <clears throat> but sadly, KO Gaming is effectively dead, thanks to YouTube uh, basically blacklisting the channel for absolutely no valid reason. So, moving forward, reviews will be on the King of Hate Vlogs, and the Sonic Mania review is live. So please give it a look, okay? <clears throat> Hold on one second, I got a light, an extra light on in my office, I just noticed, let me turn it off. Oh. Certainly don't need multiple lights going on here. Okay, and by the way, I will be doing shoutouts in a moment. Let me get through the stuff I need to cover first, folks, and then I'll be doing shoutouts for everyone. I know people are cheering and subbing already. Thank you very much for that, appreciate the support. Okay, um, so tomorrow, folks, tomorrow, I've, I figured out the schedule, even though this wasn't posted on my Twitter last night, I want to let everyone know, um... Tomorrow, I will be playing Life is Strange Before the Storm as my first gameplay stream, okay? Just want to let everyone know that, because <clears throat> there was some confusion about what's going to be tomorrow, because we didn't know how long the episodes of Life is Strange are going to be. 
The rumor is that the episodes are going to be between two to three hours long. Two hours if you, like, rush through them. But three hours if you take your time to look around and do everything in them. Like I typically do in these kind of, you know, narrative-style games. Remember, in Life is Strange, the first version of the game, um, I went around and dicked around quite a lot, right? So, yes, Life is Strange will be my first stream tomorrow. First stream, ladies and gentlemen. All right? And I already have. It's already pre-downloaded onto my PS4, so we'll be good to go. Um, you know, we will be solid. We will be uh, excellent for that. And I hope that you will join me for that. It's been quite a while since Life is Strange, right? And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> I want to see what happened. This is, this is the prequel story of what happened before all the events with Maxine and all that. Uh, you know, following along the characters from the past who kind of were already... Their story had already, you know, taken place as the backstory of the original Life is Strange. So, <clears throat> I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. That should be fun. So, a longer, a longer episode. Um, why are people saying it's Max? It's Ma her full name's Maxine. Don't you guys remember... Her full name was Maxine. They called her Max for short, but her full name was Maxine. Don't you guys remember that? I mean, it's been a couple years since we played Life is Strange, but that's her full name. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I guess some people forgot. Oh, how people forget. So, yes, it will be Life is Strange uh, tomorrow as the main stream. Alright. Um, tomorrow night, I'm debating. Should I do more Mario or should I do more Yakuza? Because then Friday, I'm thinking Friday is going to be my day this week where I do my errands. So there'll probably only be one gameplay stream on Friday. So I'm thinking whatever I don't play on Thursday, I should play on Friday. So maybe tomorrow will be like Life is Strange and Yakuza, and then Friday will be Mario. I guess that could work. I think that could, that could work, right? <clears throat> and then this weekend, I'll decide what I want to do. Do I want to do more Call of Duty World War II beta because that will be available again this weekend? Do I want to do a session of Ultra Street Fighter 2? Do I want to just focus more on Mario? You know, I'll have the option to decide what I want to do. And that's, it's always a good thing when you have options. So, I shall decide, you know, further in the week what I want to do for the weekend. <clears throat> um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to talk about before we get to shout-outs? Um, you know what? Let's do shout-outs first, and then I will do my final plugs, and I'll give you an update, because people are asking, what's, what's going on with Patreon? What's going on with this and that? Get, let me get to the shout-outs, and then we'll talk about that, okay? <clears throat> okay. Let me scroll down here. All right, so first of all, shout out to Golden Colts who did a 50-bit cheer on behalf of Derek. Derek says, Mario and Rabbids are hype. I love the Rabbids because I watch every single episode of Rabbids Invasion on Nickelodeon. Ah. Now, I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know anything about the Rabbids. I never played a game with Rabbids. Never watched a series with Rabbids. Nothing. So I know nothing about the Rabbids. But it doesn't seem like there really is much to know. They're just zany creatures, right? <clears throat> zany creatures who cause chaos. And they have a magical time-traveling washing machine, apparently. Game Master 2003 is dead. Did a 100-bit cheer. He says, I went to the store and got more Pepsis, so Pepsis for everyone except for Darth. <laughs> well, I don't know if uh, Darth Radovan Viking is around today. I don't think I've seen him in the stream chat yet. Shout out to Baby Vampire Thug, who subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much, Baby Vampire Thug, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you to, let's see here, Hey Boss Posse, who did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you, Hey Boss Posse. I appreciate that. Shout out to Daniels Vincent 2, who did a 10-bit cheer. And he says... Phil, have you ever played Super Mario 64? Dude, I played Super Mario 64 when it was new. <laughs> I played it as a brand new game on a, on a Nintendo 64. Yeah. And let me tell you, it was a great game, but it was also rough around the edges. Because I, I even remember as a new release, raging at the camera. Because that was the first really mainstream, full roaming, full 3D game. And the camera was rough around the edges, man. Sometimes it got caught on corners, sometimes it'd be stuck in a wall. <clears throat> you just couldn't see shit. And it could get pretty frustrating if you were, like, fighting a big boss and the camera just didn't want to focus in the direction that you were trying to go or the direction the boss was. It was pretty annoying. Uh, but I loved the game. Overall, I really did enjoy the game. You know, again, the first game uh, that went into the full 3D roaming realm like that. And it really kind of revolutionized a lot of stuff. At that time, a lot of games were kind of took that and ran with it. And ba based off of what you saw in Mario 64, they became the, you know, the new standard of what you would expect in a, in a game like that. <clears throat> so, good stuff. Um, the Last Rambo 341 cheered a thousand bits. Obviously, that's going to put The Last Rambo into the cheerleading position for today's stream already. And he says, since you never traveled to the United Kingdom, how do you manage to understand or speak the various accents from there? Um, well, I don't necessarily understand them. And what I mean by that is I, I realize there are different uh, dialects, different way, ma means of speaking in the UK. I know that, okay? Um, and I also know that... Um, 
if you live in the UK, just by listening to someone talk, you could probably tell where they're from. Um, me? No, I can't. Like, when I hear those different dialects and, and, you know, different accents and mannerisms, I cannot tell where someone is from in the UK. However, I know they exist, and just from watching movies and television and stuff like that, <clears throat> I can usually emulate the mannerisms and speakings and, you know, inflections in the voice and everything of someone from the UK. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, it's not like I'm a master of, you know, UK knowledge and, and culture and dialect. I'm not. Very much just not so. But just from kind of imitating people that I've heard in movies and, and stuff like that, I'm able to, to do it. So. <clears throat> okay. So that's it for the shoutouts, folks. All right, now real quick. Time for me to talk a little bit about what's going on with everything else. First of all, Patreon. Let's get this out of the way, ladies and gents. Um... There's only a day and a half left to pledge to my Patreon for the month of August. We're still below the goal. In fact, overnight, sadly, a few people lowered their pledges. Which is okay. I understand that happens at the end of the month. A lot of people who maybe had larger pledges last month and wanted or were really interested in getting the goal to be hit for last month realized this month, oh man, you know, it's about to renew and I, you know, I can't afford what I did last month or I'm not interested in the goal this month and they lower it. This always happens at the end of every month. Problem being, we are below the goal already, so now we're even further below. I think we're about $180 below hitting the monthly goal for August, all right? Um... That's it, folks. I mean, we got a day and a half left. So unless we see a big rallying of people who come in and start pledging over the next day and a half, um, we're not going to hit the goal. And sorry, but I told you, I've been saying this for weeks. I'm sticking to my guns. Uh, if we don't hit the goal, I guess we're not doing the Halloween marathon. I mean, the only thing would be if we don't hit the goal, if, if enough people come to me and say, no, Phil, we really want the Halloween marathon, you know, can we, do, can we still do it? Maybe do it as the goal for the next month or whatever. The problem then would be it's going to be very difficult to get everyone upgraded and nominating and voting on games within just a couple of weeks in October to get that to all come together by the end of the month. That's why I'm doing it this month as the freaking goal so we had enough time to get everything set up and ready for the event in, in uh, late October. <clears throat> so, I don't know, man. I mean, listen, I don't want to be a pessimist, all right? Last month, we were in the same exact situation, no lie. Last month, we were very under the goal at the end of the month, and then all of a sudden, last minute, in like the last day, a couple people pledged some big amounts, and boom, we hit the goal. So I'm not saying that won't happen, I'm just saying it's unlikely. Um, you know, it is what it is. That's reality, folks. So, maybe we'll hit the goal, maybe we won't. Um, I hope we will. But I don't know. <laughs> I can't guarantee it. Alright, so please check it out, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. There's still about a day and a half to pledge, if you would like. Keep in mind, it's not just about the monthly goal. You get all kinds of other cool personal perks, like, you know, getting a private Q&A video made, or getting a written or, or verbal thank you. you, know, you could be in, in a text crawl, or get a verbal thank you in my videos. There's a lot of awesome perks you can get. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Excuse me. And by the way, I just love the hilarity. I guess there's still people, even though I've directly addressed it, like, three times now, there's still idiots out there slandering me and basically acting like I never addressed it. The fact that earlier this month I was misspeaking about the goal. And I was saying, oh, we're going to do this Halloween marathon no matter what. Which obviously is not the case. That's not how Patreon works. I've never done a goal like that before. I was just doing, I was saying it wrong. And then I corrected myself, you know, mid-month. So that the, the misinformation would end. Um, but of course they spin it as, you know, complete negative bullshit. So whatever, I can't, I can't help that. All I can do is be honest with you guys. And I've been honest with you. You know, and straightforward with you the whole time. I've admitted I mis made a mistake earlier in the month and I corrected it. There's nothing I can do to go back in time and not misspeak the way I was misspeaking, right? <clears throat> so sorry about that. Are people saying Twitch is down? What is going on? Can people see the stream or not? Because I'm, from what I see, uh, everything's fine on my end. Twitch is down on desktop and mobile. <clears throat> now some people are saying they can see it. My stream did not end, folks. <laughs> Apparently some people can see the stream and others it says it's like everything crashed and they can't see Twitch at all. I guess it's going to be a very small stream today. I don't know what else to do about that. <clears throat> what is going on? I'm fine, guys. Everything on my end is good. Everything that I can see here is good. There's no problems with, uh, on my end, everything is, is streaming fine, you know. No internet problems, nothing. Everything says the quality is good, everything. So, I don't, if there are stream, st uh, streaming problems, they're not on my end. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's going on, guys. 
Well, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna stop. Because it's not working. I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> it sucks because I just saw a sharp decline in viewership because I guess a bunch of people, the stream ended. Even though I didn't end it. Alright, so let's continue. <laughs> um. Alright, so. Ladies and gentlemen. If. If, folks. You cheer, sub, or tip me during today's stream, I will give you a shout-out during the stream, okay? Um, if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you click on the share button after subbing, or if you tip $2 or more, you get an on-screen pop-up notification, <clears throat> okay? So it's both the visual and the verbal uh, recognition for your contributions. Um, shout-out to Dr. Zombies, who made these custom animations for um, for the stream. Yes, thank you to everyone who made custom animations, er, for, for everyone. Thank you to Dr. Zombies for making these custom animations for the stream. Um, very appreciative of that. And, uh, you know, those will be for the entirety of the Mario Plus Rabbids playthrough. <clears throat> so, yeah, thank you, everybody, uh, for your contributions. Now, if you have the option of choosing how you would like to do something today, like, for example, gee, should I cheer, should I sub, or should I tip Phil? Please, folks, tip. And the reason I say that is because we are very much about to hit September. <laughs> all of my September bills are about to start clearing, and sadly, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to clear all my bills. And that's just being real talk here. Um, July was such a slow month on YouTube, and YouTube ad revenue plummeted, um, that, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be paid enough to clear all my bills. In fact, more than likely it's not, and more than likely I'm going to end up being overdrawn, and it's a really bad financial situation for me right now. Now, the good news is, August has been great. <clears throat> you know, Twitch, I've actually seen more, uh, you know, positivity and contributions on Twitch than ever before. So, come October, when I see those come through, I think I'm going to be good. The problem is, I need to get to October. And having an entire month where nothing gets paid and my credit gets ruined is not going to work out, okay? I still need to afford the electricity, I need to afford the internet, I need to afford all the new games coming out, and I still need to clear everything else. So, it is very much appreciated for those who the past several weeks have tipped me. And if you could, if you have a choice between how you want to contribute, if you could tip me, I would appreciate it because I get that right away and I can put it straight to the bills. In fact, yesterday, a bunch of people tipped, and I'm not even exaggerating, I already transferred that to my bank account to go cover the bills that are coming up. Now, if you're wondering, how do I tip? What you do is you look below the stream here on Twitch, there's a section, there's a picture of me posing with Pokemon, and it says tips. If you click on that, it takes you to the tips page where you can either do an anonymous tip, or you can leave your name in a message. So, whichever you choose, okay? Sound good? Alright, thank you everyone for your positivity. Thank you everyone for your contributions and for being here. I'm sorry that there's technical difficulties today on Twitch. Obviously, I don't know what to do about that, uh, since it's not me. Um... <clears throat> yeah, everyone, I'm gonna be getting major, uh, tweets about it right now. I'll tweet out too. Hold on, let me tweet out myself. Say, okay, folks, apparently Twitch is having major issues for many people. I am going to keep streaming, but apologies for those who cannot join us. Reminder that all of my streamed, oops, gameplay is captured and uploaded, uh, excuse me, to DSP Gaming on YouTube immediately after the stream for those. So, I'm just going to say, so no worries, because I ran out of characters. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting, oh my god, I'm getting a ton of tweets. Some people can't even log into Twitch, apparently. Damn. Some people are saying they can't log in. Some people are saying they were watching and, like, Twitch exploded. And, like, nothing's working for them at all. No matter how many times they refresh. No, it's not you, Captain. Some people are saying they're trying to do anything on Twitch and nothing is working. I guess Kekin was saying he was trying to cheer. The cheer wouldn't go through. Yeah, apparently Twitch is crapping the bed. Twitch is crapping the bed. So, I'm just going to continue, folks. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, look, there's... Oh my god, I'm getting even more tweets. Yep, was watching and it crashed. Rest in peace, me. Cannot, re cannot refresh it. Oh my god, yeah. Sorry, everybody. Hopefully you guys can come back. You know, I'm going to keep going. But hopefully things get more in order. All right? That sucks. <clears throat> Alright, anyway, let's begin, folks. Again, just a reminder, Patreon, day and a half left to pledge at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. And if you could, if you have the option and you're going to contribute today, please tip me if you can. That will help out the most. Alright, fair enough. Alright, end the pre-stream and let's begin. 